Today, I'm going to open up this new rocket kit from Estes called Der Big Red Max. There are many unboxing videos for model rockets, but wouldn't you like a real rocket scientist's opinion of the materials and parts in the kit? Today, you'll actually find out the inside information so that you know what to look for when you get a rocket kit. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Um, we're going to open up this new rocket kit that just came in. Um, this is our unboxing video. And this is, I'm seeing this for the very first time just like you. Um, so now, when I heard that the, there was a new version of the Big Red Max, um, I was thinking that it was going to be the re-release of the Mega Dur Red Max. The Mega version was four inches in diameter and it stood about this tall. So that's kind of what I was expecting. So when this box showed up, I said, man, that looks a little small. Um, so then I'm looking on the back side and it says that uh, it's three inches in diameter where the Mega Dur Red Max was four inches. So the Dur Big Red Max is a three inch diameter kit. Um, here on the box it says that, uh, doesn't tell me what the, uh, oh the length, 29.9 inches, so just about 30 inches. So let's open this up, so I'm going to cut the little tape right there. And as we open it up, um, we're looking at the tube, okay, so let's look at the tube first. Whoa, there goes the motor mount. Um, this is a kind of a, this is um, kind of a medium thick tube. It's not like a thick wall tube, like a 75 millimeter high power tube. Um, so it's a thinner wall tube than that, but it's not too thin. Uh, it's not like a BT-80 type thin. Um, and it has that classic nose cone shape with a rounded tip on it. I'm not sure if this is a brand new nose cone or not. Um, I've never seen it before, but I'm not familiar with all the kits that Estes makes. Um, so I can see it is a through-the-wall tube, through-the-wall fins. Um, and this is punched, so this is not laser cut, so there's no burn marks on it. Um, that's how you can tell. Um, and the, the, the cutting is nice and clean, which is really nice. So I'm liking that so far. And this is the uh, motor mount tube, and that's a 29 millimeter in diameter. That's a thick wall tube, so that's kind of like the standard that we use here for Apogee uh, for our high power kits. So that's 29 millimeters. It's, a, it's fairly short though, uh, but if they do it right, if there's a retainer on it, you can put in a long motor. So let's see what else we got inside of here. So let's open this up. Okay, so oh, there's some more. There's some more. Okay. All right, so here we have, this looks like an engine block. Let's see if it's an engine block or if it's something else. Uh, okay, it doesn't seem to fit over the top of this. So usually there's a burr on the inside of centering rings because they, they cut them with a guillotine. That's how they get them to the correct length. And this is a very tight fit, so if it goes on there, yes, it does go on there, just like that. Okay, so that is some kind of, it's maybe be a backing for a centering ring. We'll find out when we look at the instructions. But it's nice and thick, which is good. It's a good glue joint, and it's very tight. So I am pushing hard to move it back and forth. Uh, and these are, you're going to be your launch lugs, and so you got two of those. These are your traditional uh, launch lugs. This is going to be a quarter inch launch rod, so um, kind of a, a medium pad, kind of a mid-power pad. Uh, we sell two mid-power pads here at Apogee, and this will work on both of those. So let's look inside of here. Open this one up. And we do have a engine retainer, which is, I like seeing that. Uh, that's going to make it nice. Um, here is a plastic parachute. I'll we'll have to see how big in diameter that is. I bet you it tells us on the box. Uh, recovery parachute. Nope, not the size. Okay, also inside of there. Okay, so this is the, the back half of the 
engine retainer. And this is 29 millimeters, and that's going to be glued on here like that. And then this screws on to hold the rocket engine inside. This, it looks like a... I, can't, I guess that is for the... Uh, Parachute. My guess. I'm not. I'm. You know. I'm, I haven't looked at this either, like you. But this is traditionally would be your string for your sh uh, parachutes. Now this is a braided nylon cord. So this is not regular string, um, and it feels to be either polyester or uh, polypropylene, but uh, definitely not cotton. So it's not a natural fiber because it's kind of slick. I can feel that. Um, these are tabs. There are six of them, so I'm guessing these are go on the edges of the parachute. Um, kind of interesting using plastic tabs like this, where normally it's a ring. Um, so these are, these are going to be a little bit different. Little gripper tabs. Uh, also in the Estes instructions, you get this is all your safety warranty information, full one year warranty. Um, you'll want to read that. Um, you know, if something goes wrong, call Estes up. Um, we do sell this kit here at Apogee, uh, but it, typically an Estes kit, they'll do the customer service on it. Um, we got a long rubber shock cord. Um, I'm not a huge fan of rubber shock cords, but they do work. Um, over time, the rubber is going to degrade since it's a natural material uh, where a Kevlar cord will last pretty much forever. But the nice thing about the rubber shock cord is that it, it stretches and it's going to take up some of that kinetic energy when the parachute comes out. Um, with the downside of Kevlar is that you can get zippers in your tube where this kind of protects against zippers. It's still possible to get them, but it's a lot less likely. Um, this little baggie here, our, our weight, uh, this tells me that this rocket needs nose weight um, in order to fly correctly. Um, so don't skimp on putting this in. If they give you four little squares, put them all in. So that's just my perspective on that. Okay, so now this looks like your, our flat stuff. So this will be our instructions and the wood fins. Okay, we have the typical Estes shock cord mount. So what's going to happen with that is you're going to cut this out. You're going to take the rubber shock cord and you're going to lay it on there, not straight up and down, but at, always at a diagonal. It gets more glue surface area when you do it at a diagonal. And then these fold over um, so you'll have a square piece of paper on the end and then that gets glued inside the tube. And you want to put that down as far as you can so that the shoulder doesn't hit where you're gluing it in. So that's gonna, that's typical from Estes. Um, on a big kit like this, um, I would typically like to mount the shock cord on a centering ring, which is much stronger, but this will work. Uh, it just, you just gotta watch it over time. Okay, so this is the instruction sheet. Uh, I'm looking at it like you're looking at it. And that's just does pretty good instructions. Um, not a lot of text on them because they're trying to be international and when you sell them in countries like Uzbekistan, um, they don't speak English there and they don't write English. So um, a lot of pictures and that's good. I like to see that. And I can see from the instructions here that they have a Jolly Roger uh, symbol on the parachute, um, which is the skull and crossbones. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not too bad there. Uh, all right, let's take a look at uh, what else we got here. Um, the, the, the cool thing about the Dura Red Max is the decals. You know, they got these, these crazy um, German-like decals. You know, it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek type of thing. Uh, it's not based on anything real. It's all fun stuff. Um, so you get, uh, you know, army trucks and ships and airplanes and... Volkswagens, Beetles, and tanks, and <laughs> things like that. Very cool stuff. Um, and these are sticker type decals. Uh, I'm glad to see that. Um, I remember the, the, the large four inch diameter Dura-Red Max and it had water slide decals, uh, which is really cool, except for this one right here, 
the, when they're that big, and it was even bigger. It was like that big, um, and just and they're so they're so fragile that when you tried to wrap it around the tube, it was it was hard to do. Um, so these are sticker type decals. Uh, we have a video specifically showing how to put sticker type decals, big ones, as a wrap around your rocket. And there's a little trick that you need. So be sure to watch that video on the Apogee website. Because um, I doubt they're going to tell you the real trick here in the instructions. And I'm looking. Uh, no. <laughs> they, they have one, lot, one little section right here for finishing the rocket. And it says, um, spray the rocket with white primer, let dry and sand, repeat until the rocket is smooth, and then paint. Apply the decals after the paint is dry. Um, so this, this particularly this one wrap, wraps are hard to put on, especially when they're water or, uh, sticker type like this. Um, these other ones are easy, but this one here is the one that you have to be careful of. So come to our website and figure that out. All right, so now we got the fin material, um, and this is balsa wood fins, and it, it's one eighth inch wide. Um, this is some nice balsa. It's it's pretty light. Um, the laser cutting is really good. Um, as you can see, these are in panels, so each fin on the rocket is made up of three pieces. I can see right here that's the through the wall fin mount tab. Um, this little piece right here will slide into the tube and, and it also goes on this side here. So you'll have three sheets of fins that you'll have to assemble before you slide them inside your rocket. Uh, we also have three centering rings and now these are laser cut because um, you can see the burn marks on them. Uh, but the nice thing about laser cut is it's always so precise and there's no crunching of the edges like you get if you have die cut. Uh, the fins are also laser cut, so that's cool too. Uh, the last thing to open, oh, I wanted to see what that green ring was for. They're calling it a spacer ring. Uh, okay, so I was right. Um, it looks like it goes by the fins um, to kind of give that one ring extra rigidity. Um, so that is what that green ring is for. So it's kind of tight, so be prepared for that. But if it's too tight, you can always sand it out. Just get it on there. Um, I'd like to get some glue under there when they're that tight. There's not a lot of glue that you can get under there. So you might have to sand it out just a little bit. All right, so the last thing, let's, let's go take a look at the Jolly Roger style parachute here. Ooh, okay, so now I can feel this. This doesn't feel like your traditional Estes type parachute. This is heavy plastic. This has got to be at least three mil, three, um, which is 0 .003, where a typical plastic parachute is going to either be one mil. Um, it does feel really slick, and it's not flexible like a really lightweight parachute. But it doesn't have to be because you have a big tube to put this into. You know, there's, there's plenty of room in that pair, in this tube for that parachute. So I wouldn't worry about that. And it looks like it's already pre-cut out. It sure is. So it's pre-cut. It's probably die cut when you do in plastic like that. And it does have the, the Jolly Roger and the Estes logo on it. Um, and it's got the simulated screws on it. That's a nice little design. On the back side, it's white. Um, so if you want to see it in the air as it's coming down, um, I would put the Jolly, Ro Logic on, <laughs> Jolly Roger on the inside um, so you can see it coming down. Otherwise, you're going to see this coming down as you're looking up at your rocket. Um, it's not opaque at all. Um, it's like I have to hold it up to a light to, to see through, to see the design on the back side. Very cool, though. Um, yeah, not the traditional Estes-type material, um, you know, like this right here. This, this is the typical Estes parachute material. This feels a lot different, so it's going to be interesting. Um, and that's probably why they're using these tabs here that will go on the corners. All right, so this is the Estes... Dur big red max 
Um, you can find it here at Apogee Components. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com. My name again is Tim Van Milgen, and you've been watching Unboxing with a Rocket Scientist. Mm -hmm.